Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lee Fuge, and in this video today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the Sterling Mariposa. So the Mariposa is a collaboration between the guys at Sterling by Music Man and Omar Rodriguez Lopez, best known as the guitar player from At The Drive-In and the Mars Volta. This is a guitar that he has designed in conjunction with those guys at the brand. So if you're unfamiliar with Sterling by Music Man, they are a subdivision of the Music Man Guitar Corporation who are otherwise part of the Ernie Ball family. So those Ernie Ball Music Man guitars that everyone knows and loves, this is from their sort of lower tier brand, Sterling. These are much more affordable variations on the really cool high-end American versions. So this particular one retails in the UK towards the top end of the 600s. You can find it anywhere from about 650 up to about just below 700 pound compared to its USA cousin, which goes for the 2000 pound plus price point. So before we dig into the specs, just wanna say I'm not getting paid for this video. My friends at Ernie Ball have lent me this guitar for a few days to shoot some videos with. So the Mariposa is a very lightweight guitar. This is the sort of thing you could do a long gig with and it's not gonna do your back any damage. The really cool offset body is made from a wood called Nayato. I'm not sure exactly how that's said. That, apparently according to a quick Google search, is an Indonesian and Malaysian hardwood which is often used as a substitute for mahogany. So I guess if we were thinking of those typical Les Paul style constructions, we would often go for a mahogany body. So this wood seems to be a good variation. It's slightly lighter, so it's not, it doesn't have this sort of full weight that a full fat mahogany guitar would have, which is a nice addition for anyone who wants to gig one of these things. Very, very comfortable. This wood apparently is like like a reddish pinkish color but obviously we can't see that because it's underneath this finish this finish is known as imperial white the guitar also comes in another finish called dorado green we've got the classic ernie ball style vintage tremolo the non-locking one with that little shelf there so you could actually grab it and do some uh, tremolo action by hand or you can put the tremolo arm in as well the trem arm that comes with this guitar is actually quite thin I personally would prefer a slightly thicker one, but the thin one gets the job done. Electronics wise, we actually have two volume controls, one for each pickup. This volume control here is for the bridge pickup, and this volume control is for the neck pickup. No tone control anywhere on this guitar. We've got this little three-way switch here. I was a bit skeptical about the size of the switch when I first saw it, but actually it's quite comfortable. On the back, we've got the usual Ernie Ball Music Man style neck join. Very comfortable, very sort of ergonomic for your hand to get right up there. We've also got a roasted maple neck, which seems to be a very common factor on most Ernie Ball style guitars. And then we've also got a rosewood fingerboard with 22 frets. I'm not sure what the fret size is, it doesn't actually say on the website, but they don't feel super big, so I don't think they're like extra jumbo or anything. I think they're probably just standard jumbo or medium sized frets. This fretboard is a 12 inch radius, so it it's not super flat, but it's also not super curved. It's very, very comfortable to play. The neck 
is quite slim like you'd expect from a Music Man style guitar. They often have pretty slim, pretty fast necks. And at the top end, again, like most of the guitars they do, it comes with a set of locking tuners. So there really is nothing fancy on this guitar. There's nothing on here that doesn't need to be there. You know, two volume controls, a vintage tremolo, two humbuckers, and a three-way switch. There's no fancy coil splits, there's no phase switches, there's no anything that you don't need to get through a gig. This is definitely a guitar that's aimed at a working musician, someone who just needs a couple of really good tones to get through the gig. Because of the style that Omar normally plays, these pickups aren't super high gain, they're not like EMGs or anything, they're very much vintage voiced pickups. There's almost this like single coil edge to them as well when you play them in certain ways. There's definitely a lot of bite and sort of focus in them without them being too boomy. Even when you crank the gain, they don't become sort of overwhelmed with the low end. They're very clear, articulate sounding pickups. And I should also add, it's a 25 and a half inch scale. So for anyone out there who's used to playing strats or tellies or things like that, you'll feel straight at home with this. Even though the guitar actually looks pretty small, I think it's just the body that makes it actually look like a smaller guitar. It is actually full scale, but yeah, there's definitely a more compact size to this angular body. I didn't actually like this body at first. I really wasn't sure about these sort of harsh straight edges that it has, but the more I look at it and the more I play it, the more I actually do really like this body shape. It's sort of like a Firebird type shape, but you know, really angled up. So there's not really much else to say about this guitar because it is pretty basic in terms of its spec. So I think we should just plug it in now and hear what it sounds like. So I'm plugged into the Blackstar Studio 10 6R6, which is mic'd with a Lewitt Audio LCT 440 condenser mic. On top of the amp, I've also got a Surfy Industries Surfy Bear Classic Spring Reverb Tank. I'm gonna start off by playing clean, but I'm gonna be switching on some overdrive pedals later on in the video as well. So here is the sound of the guitar clean. So there's only three pickup positions, so I'm just gonna play a bit and switch between the positions. So like I said, it's very no frills. Three pickup positions, both humbuckers. The pickup switch, I should actually add, I did mention this earlier, in the down position, it's just the bridge pickup. In the middle position, it's both humbuckers. And in the neck position, or the up position, I should say, it's just the neck humbucker. Obviously being a three-way switch, the switching is fairly simple, fairly obvious there, but I did realize I forgot to add that in. So that's the clean tone. It's got those typical warm humbucker tones that we'd expect very nice. There's a little top end chime to them, which is kind of, they're not single coils, but that's where I meant that they're slightly reminiscent of single coils because there is something in the upper sort of frequency spectrum there that is nice and chimey, not as rounded at the top end as most humbuckers. So now we're going to look at a bit of a crunch tone. I've got my cherry tone Centura kicked on with the gain dialed up about halfway. <laughs>
again, straight to the point, no nonsense humbucker tones there, very much in the vintage style. In that middle position, there was a hint of a single coil kind of thing going on, a lot of articulation in the top end. Very, very versatile. Even though it's just got three pickup positions and two pickups, you can still get quite a few cool tones out of this thing. Would be nice to see a coil split or a tone control, but again, this is a signature guitar. This is the way that Omar has designed it. So it is as intended and it's great for what it is. So now I'm gonna crank the gain a bit on top of my Cherry Tone Centura. I've got the Analog Man King of Tone on the high gain side. So here's how this sounds. <laughs> There you go guys, there is the Sterling by Music Man Mariposa. This is a really fun, straight to the point rock guitar. Two humbuckers, what more do you need? This is really cool, it's under 700 pound and it's a fantastic instrument. Very, very well put together, Indonesian made, very high spec considering the quite low price tag. So if you're looking for a no nonsense rock guitar, this is a very high contender. If like me, you're not too sure about the visuals at first, come back to it because when I first saw this I didn't really like it that much but the more I looked at it and the more I kind of dug into it the more it actually really grew on me so it's a really cool design it's very unique very comfortable very ergonomic and playable thank you guys so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this video let me know down below in the comments what you guys think of the Mariposa what a fun guitar let me know what you think of the way this thing looks and the way it sounds I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking and while you're down there leaving a comment don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button and I'll see you guys very soon thanks for watching